Head for the Cure 5K events are not only successful fundraisers in the fight against brain cancer, but unique tributes for those currently fighting this terrible disease and remembering those who have lost their battles. Head for the Cure was started in honor of a man named Chris Anthony. Chris's motto was always keeping the faith. He lived it daily. He signed off every email with keeping the faith. And his faith enabled him to maintain his grace, dignity, courage, and strength throughout his illness. That's why every year we honor brain cancer patients and their loved ones with a special recognition we call keeping the faith. Each of their stories is personal and special, and all are inspiring. Anna Espy, nominated by Maida Krieger. Anna is a survivor of a stage 2 oleodendroglioma in her right temporal lobe. Anna originally started feeling symptoms around Christmas 2019. After consulting a neurologist and ruling out some other potential causes, she went for an MRI in February 2020 and based off the results of the MRI was diagnosed with a low-grade astrocytoma. Anna was scheduled to take a family vacation to Disney four days after her diagnosis. Her neurologist encouraged her to take her trip and consult with a neurosurgeon upon her return. Dr. Anglove at the Cleveland Clinic met with Anna immediately upon her return from Disney. On April 7th, Dr. Anglove performed a craniotomy and successfully removed the tumor. After consulting with multiple radiation oncologists, they determined that chemo and radiation were not needed. In between the initial MRI and the craniotomy, an unprecedented global pandemic was impacting everyone. As everything from healthcare to restaurants closed down, the status of Anna's surgery was up in the air. It is a blessing that Anna was able to have the strength to move forward with the surgery. Her tumor had grown from the size of a large grape to the size of a clementine in a few short months. It was not easy. She was not able to have any visitors or support people due to COVID protocols. Her husband dropped her off at the clinic and could only communicate with her via phone until he picked her up upon her release. Anna currently receives MRIs every three months at the Cleveland Clinic's imaging location in Dayton, Ohio. Anna has the gift of writing and providing a bit of well-needed humor to life. She has detailed her experience with the pandemic and living with a brain tumor on her Caring Bridge page. To everyone who loves her, Head for the Cure's mission is vitally important. The more resources and research for brain tumors increases Anna's long-term prognosis, and we are all very thankful for that. Thank you for your courage and for allowing us to honor you. The Legacy of Love Award was implemented at our North Texas event in 2011 in honor of Stevie Patrick. She was diagnosed with a brain tumor at the age of 28, and although Stevie would go on to battle brain cancer for three and a half years, her heart was always open to reach out and help others, even as she was going through an incredibly difficult time. Stevie always took the high road and walked through each day with great integrity and a big smile on her face. This award is easily defined by actions of integrity, encouragement, determination, and truly loving and serving others, especially those in need. The recipient of this must have a strong desire to encourage and help others. This deserving person must be a leader each day and also have the courage to smile in the midst of adversity. We now like to share their story. Maida Krieger, nominated by Anna Espy. The minute I called my sister Maida last year to tell her my MRI was abnormal, her big sister instincts kicked in. Since then, she has been my biggest supporter, my advocate, my shoulder to cry on, and on a personal mission to make sure there is a cure for my tumor if and when it decides to rear its ugly head again. She has taken the lead in organizing a Head for the Cure team and has donated so much of her own personal funds because the cause means so much to her. Despite having her own family to take care of and living an hour apart from me, I know that she will be available if I ever need anything or if my husband or daughters need anything. Fighting any type of brain tumor or cancer should never be a one-person job. I have been lucky enough to have so many family members, friends, coworkers, community members, etc. in my corner, but the strength and courage I receive every day from my sister is something I can't do without. Shelly Downing, nominated by Kim Asbury. 
In 2019, Shelley Downing and her family joined Head for the Cure to honor her dad, Joe Scorziel, who unfortunately passed away from glioblastoma the previous year. Joe fought bravely for nine months at the James Cancer Hospital and Slow Research Institute in Columbus, Ohio. After his last trip in 2018 to the James, Joe never returned home. Since then, Shelley has worked tirelessly to raise awareness and funds for the Head for the Cure. Last year, her team Scorzeal Strong was one of the largest teams participating in the Columbus Head for the Cure Virtual 5K and won several awards. This year, Shelley Strong is slated to be in the top three teams in terms of fundraising. I would like to nominate Shelley Downing for her tremendous work and service to the brain cancer community and Head for the Cure.